trouble is brewing for the BJP with senior party leader K. C. Shwarupa announcing that he will contest as an independent candidate from Shibaga constituency for the upcoming Lok Sabha polls. Ishwarappa, known for his controversial statements, will be taking on B.S. Yadirappa's son B.Y. Raghavendra, who has been fielded from the BJP. Now, Ishwarappa says that such steps are necessary as the party's affairs in the state are in the hands of just one family and it is important to draw the attention of the central leadership to this issue. The announcement comes after K.S. Ishwarappa had earlier attacked B.S. Yadirappa and said that he was sidelining leaders that support Hindutva. In fact, last year, BJP had denied a ticket to Ishwarappa when he wanted to contest the assembly elections from Shimoga. And now his son has also been denied a ticket for the Lok Sabha elections. <laughs> Neha joins us on the phone line to help us understand what's happening there in Karnataka. Neha, the BJP of course is preparing for its southern push, but on the other hand, in Karnataka, trouble seems to be brewing. On one hand, K.S. Ishwarappa somehow had uh, been pacified last time when he was denied the assembly ticket, uh, thinking that his son will be given the looks of a ticket, but now even his son has been denied the ticket and looks like it's all-out war as far as K.S. Ishwarappa is concerned against the BJP. I think that's right. You know, we've been seeing for quite some time now the BJP has been struggling to quell the dissent within the party itself. And, you know, that was quite evident during the assembly elections. And now, you know, more so during the Lok Sabha elections, we're seeing that, you know, those leaders who were possibly expecting tickets now and haven't received them, uh, either for themselves or their children, are now quite frontal. KSP, of course, being a classic example of that, we're seeing him having declared now that he would be connecting as an independent. And, you know, the fact is, Ashish, for quite some time now, he has been making the, uh, you know, very personal attacks against the Yadi Rappa and his family as well. Even during the time of, uh, you know, uh, the Yadi Rappa's son, Regions are becoming the state president as well. We saw quite a few nasty statements there coming from the Yadi Rappa. Of course, at the end of the day, we really need to wait and see now. Uh, Karnataka always has been the gateway to the South for the BJP and how they manage to keep the entire flock together and contest the upcoming elections would be quite interesting to see. Right, Neha, yeah, appreciate you joining us on the broadcast there. I will, of course, uh, keep a close eye on all the developments that come in. Case Ishwarapa, a very senior leader for the BJP in Karnataka and his rebellion now. It will, be remain, uh, it will be interesting to see how it pans out for the BJP. 